Hi everyone, welcome to my plant vlog. How are y'all doing today? So I am currently packing, um, doing a lot of like, sorry for the mess, so that's what, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of like getting everything organized. We are moving from Dallas to Fort Worth. So I am excited about this. We are going to be doing a lot of new things. I definitely am going to invest in a greenhouse, one that won't blow away this time. For all that are new here, welcome. I am Blue Phoenix. I make a fun plant vlog on Wednesdays sharing my daily life and also um, what I do as a small business owner for my plant shop, Blue Lotus Gardens. If that's something that you are interested, I recommend subscribing and liking this video, letting me know how you like it and down, down in the comments below. So, um, currently, I am also doing a little landscaping gig and I'm doing like horsetail bamboo. It's really like zen uh, privacy screening fences and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to plant these bamboo, these, uh, I'm going to have to plant, plant these horsetail in um, soon. Um, they just arrived uh, from an Etsy shop. Let's see who they came from. Oh, I, I got this from. Um, Horticulture, Hortic, no, I bought, I got this from Horticult LLC. They have really cool um, finds there. So if you're interested in some like landscaping things, I recommend them. They have a really good also rate review. So that's something to think that I look into as well whenever I'm personally buying stuff, not just for myself, but also for clients. Um, but yeah. Also, We now have uh, the variegated. Mar oh. ah. We now have the little variegated. We now have the little variegated maranta um, available on my shop. Um, I have a lot of high stock in this, so um, if you like this, I recommend you going into my shop. I'll have the links down below, um, so that way you all can check it out. Oh. I wanted to show y'all. Oh. So I want to show y'all like my little begonias. I am I've been uh, leaf propagating begonias, um, and here are some. This one's more the most visible one, but it's a taco night. And then I did a watermelon peperomia one also because I just wanted to see. And here's another little one that's a taco night. Let's see if I can pull it out and you can see it. Nope, can't see it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but you're just going to have to take a word for it. And it looks really good. And yeah. I like, I like propagating begonias. So. That's something to. Here's some that I have over here. My little diva queen over here. Always just flopping down. Oh my god. I literally just watered you. <laughs> it's okay. They will grow. The Hoya Chelsea's. I uh, placed this Hoya Carnosa. Um, I placed this Hoya um, on top of this pole, and I really like it. It starts to trail up, and I like the way it looks. So those are like some options that I have for the store. My big guy. He's been here since day one. Always going, going strong. We actually um, propagated one of them. So, and then just a little sneak peek of what all is to come and what I'm doing and um, taking care of. I need to, I'm going to eventually put this one for sale. Um, I'm just letting it grow into the pole a little bit more before I sell it. All right, I hope y'all like that. Also, um, if you have any questions about your orders or um, need help with a uh, certain plant uh, help, ha plant care help, always, um, our, I'm, making it, I'm making more blog posts on our blog, on our blog bluelotusgardens.com, so if you'd like to check that out um, to, for any help that you might need. And by the way, 
Um, here is one of my designs. It was for our for to celebrate Pride, but I am going to keep it on the store because I really like the design. And what you get on the front, it says Proud Plant Parent. And on the back, I um, wish I could show y'all. How do I show y'all? Um, I'll figure out a way. But on the back, it has our logo, Blue Lotus Gardens. So, And there's more merch that I've added in all of its um, really to help the blog keep going and um, and fund this channel. So thank you all for that who have um, supported us through our merch. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you all enjoy all, all of our new merch. Hi, everyone. I am so tired. <laughs> I have been packing. I am so tired. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Welcome everybody to my plant vlog. If you're new here, my name is Blue Phoenix. I make fun little planty videos of my found knowledge. And then I also share this fun plant vlog. My plant vlog is about what I do in my plant shop um, and then just what I do a little bit on my daily life. Um, Y'all, I have been having the worst trouble with um, Instagram and my Facebook shop, so I'm so sorry if anybody has been like having issues with that. I just have been having everybody place orders on my website because it's um, it's the only thing really like that is like consistent, coherent. It's always updated. Inventory is always updated. Fa the Instagram shop was for my to sell like propagations to you all, um, and I'm trying to get it back up. It might I might have gotten it back up by this time. I've been working with Facebook, and um, we're working to get it fixed. Um, but yes. Oh my god, I'm so tired. So I've been doing that since like... Mm, 3 a.m. <laughs> I've been doing that since 3 a.m. And then I stopped at 5 a.m. And then I started again at 10. And then I stopped at 12. And then I was like, I gotta go running. <laughs> if y'all don't know this, I'm a runner. I love to run, um, that's how I separate my work brain from my normal brain, if that's something that y'all understand. Oh my god, look at that pimple. Whatever. It is what it is. It's stress. It's my stress pimple. Oh my god. Ugh. It's okay. I'll just be Rudolph for like... So it goes away. Anyways, come look at my pretty plants. <laughs> come look at the nice little plants. <clears throat> so this is my Alocasia Regal Shields that I've propagated. I don't know how I did that, um, but it's propagated. Uh, here's all my little begonias and my um, string of turtles right here. The cute little guys. Look at my little taco nut right there. Um, a watermelon peperomia. Sorry, this little quality is bad. Um, growing out this begonia. There's another taco night uh, begonia that I'm doing through um, vermiculite. Um, oh, just let me tell y'all real quick. So y'all know I have a begonia forum on my blog now. The link will be down below and it, I just basically talk about like my tips on a begonia care, um, what I do, and then I just kind of like show progress, um, also photos of my begonias. Hoping that um, that could help you all as well. Um, I know I've always uh, enjoyed looking at other people's begonias progress pictures. That way I can like reflect and see what I can do as well to improve my techniques. The next day. Hi everyone, welcome to my plant vlog. In today's vlog, um, I am going to do a plant rescue of a Raphidophora hayi. 
um, I will put the the name down below so that way we all understand um, which plant it is. So I found this at Lowe's. It had a board on it, but the board broke off. Um, and I am just going to rescue this plant, um, show, share with you all uh, what it means to have uh, mushrooms growing in your soil, um, and then also what you can do um, to to rescue your plant, to rescue your Raphidophora hayi. Uh, so as you see, the leaves are pretty large, but once you take the board off, they start to get a little bit smaller. So we'll start from these leaves and um, work our way down. Uh, that way we create a pattern and um, and then also that way um, it grows and trails upwards as well. Okay, so let's talk about these little 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 buddies right here. Uh, the fung the little mushrooms. Why do we find mushrooms in our soil? So um, sometimes you will find mushrooms in potting mix. It's something that's just really um, a regular uh, normal thing. Um, and what it's really doing, it's just breaking down the organic matter in the soil um, and providing that to the plant. Um, so overall, it's it's not harming your plant. It's harmless. Um, some people don't like it for the aesthetic reasons, uh, but that's really just what it's doing. It's just breaking down organic matter. So for me personally, I don't like looking at it, so I tend to uh repot the plant um and i what i do is i wait about two weeks um so I'm, and i don't water it i don't uh I just keep it in a pretty bright location um i kind of have it near my grow light so it, it does grow a little bit but um i don't water it at all and i just let it all just dry out so, so that way whenever i am um repotting it it's not going to disturb the roots. It's not going to disturb them too much. And it's just going to help uh, the plant uh, grow better in the new environment. So again, it's nothing to nothing wrong with it. It's just um, it's 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 just nature. It's normal. And um, if you don't like it, I recommend just setting aside for about two weeks. Don't water it. Uh, keep it in a bright location and allow the soil, whole soil to dry so that way you can repot it thoroughly and properly. Okay, so next what we're going to do is uh, take it out of uh, this soil mix. So here we are. Here's the Raphidophora hay eye. I'm just gonna set this aside and we're going to carefully remove uh, the soil around this one as well. Here's the other one. So right now they are in this um, little plug, like, uh, and it'll break down this this uh, this little paper right here will break down. You can remove it, uh, but the roots look like they're protruding already out of it, so I wouldn't, um, and just let it break down on its own. I personally struggled in the beginning with that and that always like kind of like agitated me um, to see that because I was seeing that they weren't surviving. But um, it's like it's with the polys like when they're in the pol when they're in, in this little thing and they're in the poly like it's a Amazon Amazonic or poly it doesn't break down I don't know why. I've had many and they just don't break down. So I don't know if it's maybe just the type of material or that, that or it's the roots 
you know like some roots are thicker and finer than than others so there's a difference to it um i'm grabbing my little containers and i'm just going to gently place this in here So I'm placing the new soil around it. Kind of making sure it's in there. And then I'm going to propagate it next. There's one. So here they are. Next, we're going to uh, propagate them. So let's let's take you into what my brain process is going through right now. What I'm trying to do is basically regrow the plant out. So I am going to go all the way to the base of this very last one before it starts uh, trailing up under the node. I'm going to cut that off and then we're going to move this along. Um, and here you go. So why would I do this, right? Uh, now this way it's a little bit easier for the plant to start producing more of uh more foliage for it and then it's once it starts to grow out i'll be able to um, put it in a larger container with a little board on it so right now i'm just basically um making sure that the plant is getting back to health and not trying to focus really on like the large leaves and all that um because I'll, I'll show you up close um, these black uh, markings on it are burnt um, and I just really just want to make sure that this plant uh, itself is uh, back to health um, I know um, it was there was no pest on it or anything like that um, but I just you know that's really how my technique goes about it with uh, caring for plants and then propagating them as well I don't know. This is fun. <laughs> We're gonna do the same things with this one. As you see right there. So we have that. And now with these, um, I can make more. Oh, I should show y'all the soil. So this is my soil mixture. Um, it has um, perlite, bark, uh, vermiculite, um, it also has peat moss in, in it, um, and that's just because that's what I had on hand, and so I just kind of combined them all together, and then I had a little bit of like some soil left over, so just like regular soil uh, mixture that I had, like, and then I mixed it all together, and this is what I have. It's very light, um, it's fluffy, and so, uh, and it has proper uh, drainage. Uh, the way I could tell is because I could easily stick my finger down into the soil without having to, um, like, get, uh, 
have like a, a pushback almost whenever you're setting your your plant in there or your fingers so that way you know how like dense it is in there the density really is important and so what we're doing here is figuring out how large um, how how uh, much can this plant um, how much will this like how much of this plant can actually fit into this container and it looks like about three leaves and the other one starts to look like they're trailing off so we're going to cut that off and we're going to leave these here Here you have it. So this top one is not uh, properly in there. So what I'm going to do is um, place something a little bit heavy on top. So once when I'm watering it, it'll um, hold down. I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to cut it off. I'm just going to cut it off. Here's the other one. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time having it like pushed down, but I think I've got it. Okay. <laughs> so I ran out of my um, containers that I have. Uh, in here and it's raining outside so we're going to pop them in here for the moment this will be your temporary home just put you in here and then put you all in here <laughs> yay so now i have four Raphidophora hay eyes. Um, so let me clean this up a little bit. So this is exciting. Okay, so this is like what I do for my propagations, uh, for my prop shop. I basically, like my Facebook shop is basically for that. Um, uh, and then just some like customer favorites also that I usually have available on site. As you see behind me, I have more and then um, I have a couple more coming in um, so yeah but the but I'll have more I'll have more available so, uh, my Facebook shop should be soon um, up and running um, and I'll be able to put all these uh, amazing propagations up for y'all whenever they're ready um, I like doing this so that way you know uh, I know they're like a little bit harder to find um, I keep one propagation for myself um, and then I sell the rest basically. So that way, you know, everybody else uh, out there can um, enjoy them as much as other people have uh, around locally. I know they're really sometimes hard to find other places. So this is, I think a great way to share it amongst everybody. Um, and it helps support my, my, my little, my little, uh, my little uh, plant shop. So I really appreciate you all. I thank you all so much till tomorrow. Bye everyone. So I'm currently just like packing and just like doing my thing, um, relaxing a little bit, taking a breather from it. But like, it's just like all sinking in. Like, 
soon enough I'll have another room. It's not gonna be as big as this room, but it's going to be a, a new place, a new adventure, new location, and we are actually going to own the house. So that's gonna be awesome. It's been such a long journey, like, oh my god, y'all. Like, <clears throat> it's not like a big old house or anything like that. It's just, it's just a, a regular house. And I get, I'm just excited because I finally get to make like my own greenhouse. And, oh my god, like, <sighs> I'll have, I'll be able to like have more plants and, I can actually like landscape how I want it. So that's gonna be awesome. Like the whole house has boxes everywhere. <laughs> kind of vlogging. Did I say I'm vlogging a little late? I don't know. I just recently brewed some coffee cause I am going to get this done. I am. So today I kind of spent the whole day just um, trying to upload my video because my Wi-Fi was acting up and I'm like, no. It's okay. It's fine. It happens. Just went to, and started doing some other things. Um, so I set some, some uh, boxes aside in case I need to um, use them for um, to send out some plants <clears throat> because <laughs> y'all I am just ready <laughs> but yeah I think I still need to go over go through like this whole cabinet and go through it and clean out some things there's Marley's little uh pad so that way she can jump onto the the bed <laughs> she uh, she thinks she's a rabbit you know she she just jumps everywhere so i just make sure she has her thing and i tried the stairs once and she does not like the stairs she looked at me like i'm crazy so that's what we have my slippers <laughs> okay I need to get a new camera. I'm not sure if this is boring or not, but like, this is just what I'm doing. And I think I, I, I do a lot of vlogging at night and I'm going to have to do, okay. So I have to do my vlogging now on my phone because I can't find my, <laughs> my charger for my camera. So it will be done on my phone now. What is this? Uh. fun story about this little guy I found this one in my um, closet and it was like all black and uh, there was there was a note on there and so I quickly just like put him into like new soil and look look at that three new leaves how amazing is that this uh, was actually a little gift. This was actually a little gift that my friend um, Aaron uh, sent me when I when I uh, got some hangers from her store. Look at those fenestrations, y'all. If we could just focus, there. So nice. And then here's the new leaf. And then here's the mother plant of the begonia Linda Dawn. How amazing. <laughs> My crispy little uh, coffee plant. Don't judge me. It's okay. It'll be fine. And then my little Calathea. Look at that new leaf. Don't mind the crispiness. <laughs> it's okay.
thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, also supporting my small business, uh, Blue Lotus Gardens, my plant shop. Um, I really am appreciative of y'all. I am so honored to be doing this to, for to be doing this and being able to share my experience with you all. Uh, thank you again. Uh, subscribe if you like uh, the videos that I put out and like and comment. Let me know how you feel about it. I'm working on um, making better content, so I just I'm just kind of having fun with it. So thank you all, and I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. All the links are down below that y'all if if y'all want to support or need any help with anything. Bye everyone. Thank you.